Hi everyone, my name is Michael Aguirre and I'm here today at AscentWorks to talk about 3D scanning. For a lot of inventors, 3D scanning is becoming an invaluable tool to take their real world ideas and translate it into 3D models in which they can shape, design and rapid manufacture. The challenge is a good 3D scanning system can cost tens of thousands of dollars. Even one of the most cheap commercial versions online is still in the $2,500 to $5,000 American range depending on the particular software package you purchase. So what do you do for rough prototypes? Today I'm going to show you an example where for less than $150 you can utilize some basic hardware and software to get you started in the world of 3D scanning. And from there, take it to modeling, printing, milling, routing, whatever it is your invention needs. All right, so here we are in the uh, Scentworks uh, rapid prototyping room, where uh, we're going to take this 3D object here, which was a uh, vacuum form mask that uh, one of the members here, John V. Kellogg, made a couple days ago. And we're going to import this uh, into a 3D model, an STL file, uh, by way of our Microsoft Connect setup here, and some uh, software called Connect to STL. And it's made by Kyle McDonald, who's involved with uh, MakerBot Industries. And uh, not at all uh, the most feature-rich application out there, but by far it's the easiest to use. And if you hop online and look at the website, not only does a good article explaining why he built it, but it explains a lot of features, functions, and some of the, uh, the things yet to come. And he also recommends checking out some of the other applications, including the OSX Connect application by Sid Villis. And you can find that over at Thingiverse. And again, many more features, uh, provides a more complex output, uh, STL, which requires you to use uh, your modeling skills uh, a bit further to get the desired output. And last but not least, uh, I want to mention the 3D Scanner uh, by Smack All Games, which you can find in the, uh, the Mac application store. And for, literally for $4, you can get uh, sort of the best of both worlds. Uh, some of the functionality of Connect to STL, limiting backgrounds and providing for simplistic prints, but still has the complexity of the, uh, the OSX Connect application, allowing you to in, uh, import a lot more data than, uh, than just a, a simple plane. All right, so what does our rig look like? Quite literally, we have our MacBook Pro here set up with the Connect to STL application open. We've hooked it up to a Kinect sensor sitting on a tripod and we just have a little bench on the bottom here to uh, keep our 3D object just off the ground. Uh, there's a lot of noise in the application so having a very flat surface will help the fidelity of the overall capture. So once we have our object set up and connect to STL, you can see it here on the screen and there's a couple settings we're going to have to play with. Right now, our Z cutoff is uh, a little high, so there'd be a lot of, uh, of extraneous print that we don't need. So just by playing with the cutoff, we can get the object popping out just as much that's relevant to us. So again, you can sort of zoom around and check it out. You can also play with the, the width, the size, the heights, and the lighting to get the exact effect needed. But once you have uh, roughly the, you know, the, the best uh, rough print you can get, Simply click export to STL. And now if we go into our data directory, we'll be able to pull up our print. So just for view's sake, I've just opened this in, uh, in MeshLab. And very quickly here, we have something that I can import into my, uh, my MakerBot, into my Bits for Bytes printer, my uh, Dimension U print printer. Uh, and very quickly, I can now print this object out. I'm just loading it into the BFB application. And uh, right here we have it on our print bed. And we can see that um, you know, from a print perspective, it's going to be a nice clean print. So I'm just going to uh, hit build on this and we're going to uh, do a print. After a few hours of printing, we have our mask uh, printed in PLA and with an ABS uh, raft for structure and it bears a striking resemblance to our 3D scan. 
Yet another application to mention is Coco Connect. Uh, some of the neat stuff with Coco Connect is simply the, uh, the simplicity of the interface. So I can actually very quickly set up real live video, see what's going on, uh, look at how the, uh, the mesh will actually uh, look, and also uh, move around some of the tilt sensors and light sens and some of the, the lights on the, uh, the Kinect itself. But from here now, again, you've captured a lot more data that you can work with. In the point file here, uh, you have a much cleaner uh, data set to start your modeling from. Uh, more defined, but uh, again requires uh, more labor to get the exact model you're looking for. Instead of spending uh, tens of thousands of dollars here, uh, we've spent under $150 getting a, a basic object captured for our uh, modeling. Interested in learning more about 3D scanning, 3D printing, or prototyping in general? Come check out AscentWorks.ca.